Hello everybody, my name is Dale and I would like to take this second to welcome you back to another beautiful day in This Is Life. In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you guys to my newest segment called Notes from the Lab. And in Notes from the Lab is going to be, well, whenever I release something from This Is Life Ready Garments, I'm going to supply a video with it as well. And that video will explain my thought process, the concept, everything about the product that I'm about to release. And the reason I'm doing this is because I like knowing what I'm wearing and what it means and so I figured if I'm gonna be putting so much thought, so much effort, so much concept, so much emotion into these designs, I want you guys to know what it means. And so each piece will have an accompanying video explaining everything that went into the design. And so you will know exactly what you're wearing and what everything is about. Hold on. Donald just ran to the back. I don't know. He likes to pee and chew on rugs, so we're making sure he's not doing any of that. And so for the first episode of Notes from the Lab, I am introducing the Heartbeat Hoodie. The Heartbeat Hoodie has on the front, this is life embroidered in a small detail across the front chest. And on the back, it has a huge heartbeat logo. Yeah, you can see. You can see, you can see, okay. Now, you guys know what this is life means, but for those that don't, I'm gonna explain real quick. This is life is my lifestyle brand, this whole journey. This is life means simply taking life as it is and making it yours and doing what you want to with it. This is life means and is, is an understanding, a, a phrase, a model that whatever life may throw your way, you take it and make it what you want out of it. As you know, life can be good, life can be bad, but that's I believe that it's always your decision to make with it and to do with it. And it's always your decision how it turns out. But what I, what you guys are, well, some of you may know, and some of you may not know, the heartbeat hoodie, which is on the heartbeat, which is on the back, is has been my biggest design, my biggest piece, my biggest symbol of this brand. And in order for me to explain to you where the heartbeat came from, I would have to explain to you Live Love Urban. And so without further ado, let me take you back. Now this is a story all about how my... 2010, I created my first brand called Live Love Urban. Live Love Urban was me basically just taking my first shot at living my dreams and doing what I wanted to do. For a long time, I always wanted to design clothes, but I never took that step to do so. Like, I would just by hand design shirts. But until I reached a point, I hit a point in my life where I was like, dude, I just got to give this a shot and try was when Live Love Urban was born. And Live Love Urban was born from pain. Um, when I created Live Love Urban, I was actually in... A hospital for thoughts of suicide because at this point in time um, life as I said in another video life was crappy it was another point where life was crappy um, I was arguing with my parents about trying to decide if I was gonna go to school I, I was in a process of, I, know, I broke up I think I don't remember exactly um, with the girl who cheated on me and like, I got found out in such a, a really painful way and that was like my first real official breakup so the hurt of that was also my mind. And at this point, I'm like, I think I'm like 18. I don't even know. I didn't know how to deal with all of it. And I might, as I look back on it now, think, you know, I was a little bit dramatic. But I thought the solution to dealing with my problem was to say, I'm going to take my life. So I remember writing a note and leaving it for my parents. And long story short, thank God, 
it wasn't in his plans for me to go through with it. And to be honest, I don't think I would have gone through with it. Like every time I think about it, I don't see myself as having had the balls to be like, oh yeah, I'm doing this and go about it. You know, that takes a lot. And I don't think I had it in me. But um, the point when Live Love Urban was created was when after my parents called the police and then they caught up with me, um, I was submitted to a hospital for thoughts of suicide. Like I was on suicide watch. And I remember being in the bed wondering to myself with a lady next to me to make sure I'm good and I don't do anything crazy. Like, how did my life get to this point? Like, what am I doing in a bed? You know, it's like, I don't know if you guys have ever had that, that thought process where you're like somewhere and you were like, bro, how did I get here? You're in a place you would have never imagined yourself being in. And that's where I was at that point in that hospital bed. And I remember thinking back to all the things that I wanted to do and all the things that made me happy. And I remember thinking clothing was one of the things that really brought me joy. And before I lost that, that's is where, like, that's what allowed me to be at this point. And so I asked the lady for a pen, paper, and I remember started, I wrote down, and I don't know, to this day, I don't know why, says God, says the world, give me something. I had the words live, laugh, love in my head. I had seen it somewhere and it was just stuck. So as I'm thinking of like my past history with clothing and everything that I want to do about it and with it and my love for it, I was thinking of a name. I was thinking like, you know, I'm going to get myself out of this slump. I'm going to do something with it. And so I'm sitting there in the bed just writing out thoughts. And I remember I wrote down live, laugh, love. And at some point in time, I wrote live, love, urban on the paper. Because now that I think about it, urban streetwear was always something that I loved. Like the urban culture, all the brands, Nike, Stussy, Hundreds, all those things back then that I used to really check into, those are the brands, and they were urban streetwear, and those are things that I love. You know, I love the colors, I love the designs, I love the free flowness of it, and that's what inspired me a lot. But the live love part, I think I got from live, laugh, love, that saying. And in short, I didn't realize it then, but live, love, urban was born at that time. I continued to make clothes for about a year and a half where it hit 2011 and that's when things really started to like become clear. That's when a vision really started to form and again, God's purpose for me was kind of just set and like kind of bop hit in my head. Um, 2011, I had gone through and I was go going through yet another breakup like y'all probably thinking now like bro this guy's always getting his heart broken blah 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 I don't know man maybe that's funny it's how life works out you know for me like I said this is life you take lessons from the pain you take L's and you turn them into lessons that's what my life has always been about and that's where the heartbeat logo came from 2011 I fell madly 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 in love with this girl and I think, I don't know if you guys have ever been at that point where it kind of could be like, it's your first super, super, in, your first encounter with love and you don't know what it is. You don't know how to deal with it. Boy, you know, that you just have all these feelings and it's just like, oh my God, this person is like perfect and I just want to love them. I want to be around them all the time. I want to make them happy. You know, it's like that clingy, clingy love. And that's what it was. But the thing was, was that I was more, way more invested into it than she was, you know? Um, then eventually it led to my, my heartbreak. Um, now that I look back on it, I do remember her saying a couple of times that she wasn't really trying to be serious with it, but when you're in love, you don't listen, you don't hear, you know, you only see what you want to see, you only hear what you want to hear. And so that's where, that's what was going on. That's what I was headed down. That's what I was doing. Hearing what I want to hear and seeing what I wanted to see. And I remember 2011, um, when I thought me and said girl were really going well, we don't talk for like a week or something like that, I think. And I, I don't remember if we had an argument or something, but we didn't talk. And all of a sudden I remember her showing up to my church with her boyfriend. 
And that's what she introduced him as her boyfriend. And it was she did it as if it was just like the most calmest, normalest thing in the world, as if like, oh, I told you this was my boyfriend already. I remember it was all I could do to just keep my cool and not just cry, like honestly, because here it is, the girl that I'm so mad in love with just pops up with a guy that she says is a boyfriend. Here's what I'm thinking. We haven't talked for a week. So when did you guys have time to become a boyfriend? Like, isn't there a talking process that goes on? All of this is running through my head and like emotions are building. I'm devastated. And the only thing I could do at that point was express myself through art. And once again, I thank God for that ability because art saved my life pretty much. Like it, it gave me focus and it brought me to be even able to make this video. Like if things hadn't went the way they did at the at the beginning, I would not be here making this video. But um, at that time, I remember I was heartbroken, drawing, trying to figure things out. And I remember I was listening to Childish Gambino's song Heartbeat while just crying and I remember I'm drawing 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 and I drew out this this shape that looks like a heart but it's not really a heart and um I'm just going going you know I wanted you know that I am ready to go heartbeat my heartbeat and I don't know if I was hearing heartbreak or what I was hearing but um I remember I drew the EKG I like a little squiggly line through it And I feel like that was seeing that 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 drawing there, not knowing what it is, it was kind of like a, a a spike up for me, because we're at that point where I was at that time was again feeling how I was feeling in 2010, where I just wanted to take my life, where I just wanted to end things, where things was just so overwhelming, I didn't know what to do. And I think that drawing that I made at that point was a reminder, like. Yo, wake up. You said you weren't going to do this again. You said you weren't going to allow yourself to get back to this point again. And that logo, the heartbeat logo, this logo on my back was that reminder to wake up, snap out of it, make something out of this. Life will go on. Now for the heartbeat logo, there is a lot a lot of meaning behind it and I'm gonna take a few minutes to break it down and tell you what it means the heartbeat logo when you look at it it means live love urban it, I mean I made it to fit in with the name live love urban and the way it fits in is that if you first well there's three components actually there's live love and urban and the heartbeat logo in itself has three components to it we'll break it down first live if you look at the, the logo that little squiggly line in the middle of it, that's actually to represent an EKG line. And an EKG machine is that when you're in the hospital and you're hooked up to it, it beeps up and down and it shows that you're alive. And if you're dead, it goes flat. So I wanted to I took the EKG signs, you know, to always show that you're always living, that your life is always beating. I mean your heart is always beating, you're always alive. If you have a pulse, you're alive. So that's the live part of it. The love part comes in that where if you look at the logo, it looks like a heart, but it's not exactly a heart. But the love means, you know, you love what, you, at the first it meant to love what you do, but now I look at it more to mean just loving yourself, loving your life, and loving what you have. So yes, loving what you do, but in a bigger aspect of loving everything, loving life in itself. So, so far it's live and love, and then the urban part is the fact that it looks like a heart and it's not exactly the heart is the reason why I love urban culture. Urban culture is you take what you have and you interpret it how you interpret it. And like I said, I, the heart is such a, a nice and curvy made up shape, but I didn't see love that way. You know, I didn't see love as so perfectly made out. Like love has its ups and downs, its sharp edges, its things that hurt. And so that was my interpretation of love. That was me taking love and making it how I interpret it. So you have the live, love, and the urban. The live is the EKG beating up and down. The love part is the heart shape, and the urban is the not exactly heart shape. And all of it means together is 
is his first former meaning was do what you love, love what you do, and do it how you want to do it. But now as I've gotten older and the logo has, you know, kind of changed as my life and my interpretation of life and my experiences have changed is live your life to the fullest. You know, you have this life. Use it. You Use your life to do what you want and what you can and what makes you happy. Love what you're doing. Love yourself. Love your life. Love everything you can. Like, as they say, love is the greatest force in the universe. And I myself are trying to keep that in my head all the time. Don't let nothing trump love because love is great. Like, you could fight anything with love. And then the urban aspect is do what you want to do. A lot of times I feel people tell us what we should be doing and that's not exactly what we want to do. So do what you want to do. Make Do what makes you happy and content. Live your life. Love your life. Do you. Be happy. Take life as it is. Remember that this is life. So this hoodie is a really, really, really big release for This Is Life for Your Garments. And like... It's not just a design to me anymore. Just this logo is, and the brand has been something that I feel has saved my life. And not only saved my life, but given me a purpose in what I'm supposed to be doing and how just to live my life and remember how to be whenever things bring me down. And so with the brand, like I just want to give people that same belief, that same feeling, the same things that I look forward to and what helps me keep going. Um, I swore a little while back that if I'm going to make clothes, I'm going to make clothes that do something for people. You know, like if you're going to spend your money on something, I want you to make sure you're getting something back. Not just a piece of a hoodie, a piece of clothes, but an actual belief, an actual something that you know that you could wear and realize that, yo, like I believe in this and this is for me. So provide, I mean, I forgot the word, but regardless of whether you think the design is dope, I hope you really understand and see what went into this and hopefully it relates to you in some way so that when you wear it, you in turn feel that same sense of belief, that same sense of sense of power and this realization that it's your life, this is life, things are gonna go wrong, things are gonna hurt, but no matter what, you can kinda always pick yourself up from it and be as happy as you wanna be. Do what you want to do. Love what you want to love. Do it how you want to do it, man. So it's really a lot in this hoodie. I hope you guys enjoy. And this has been the first episode from Notes from the Lab. And I look forward to making more. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment with any thoughts that you have. You know, I'd love to hear back what you think. Maybe some more colorways, some more designs, you know. it's a lot more to come, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. So, peace and love, people.